Today, MTD CNC are in Dartford in Kent. We're at a company called Everage Engineering. They recently took delivery of a brand new GTX 625 axis machine from Dugard. It's a new machine to Dugard's range. We're going to go and meet with Glenn, the managing director, and find out why he not only bought that machine, but two other Dugard machines during the history of his ownership of the company or part ownership. Glenn, this isn't the first time we've seen this Dugard GTX 620. Uh, we, were, we were lucky enough to be the first to actually see the machine in action in home. It is a new model to Dugard. You guys are the first to have a machine installed in the UK. Firstly, why did you buy the GTX 620? It was more for the capacity, because we already had one of our five axis machines and we were just stretching it to the limit all the time. So we just wanted something a little bit bigger. Because the capacity you're talking about here, you've got a 650 millimetre table, haven't you? Yes, we have. It's, um, the previous one was only 300 and we, we just needed a whole bigger work, so we was just pushing too far. What's kind of quite ironic as well, though, is today you're running some small parts, but what, what that does show is that you've got flexibility on this machine to be able to do very small kind of nimble parts up to some of the parts we'll look at in a minute as well. More flexibility. Yes, we can run all the same jobs on both machines just by a simple change on the axis um, and because of the quick change tooling we've bought, you can literally run whatever job, whether it's big or small, it does fit. I noticed you've got tool measurement in here as well. It, did it come with all the options, this machine? Was that a big draw to get a machine hit the deck with everything on it? Yeah, we specifically asked for it to have everything on it. We've got the Renninshaw tool in process measuring, as well as the tool length measurement and diameter measurement. Um, it's got in-cycle offsets, the whole lot. Uh, flood wash, swarf, swarf conveyor, swarf management. Yeah, that was all included. High pressure coolant. It's very, um, I mean, I'm not sure what the pressure of coolant, but very high 20 bar. Pressure. Yeah, 20 bar coolant, um, swarf conveyor, and um, high pressure uh, tray wash as well. The, the machine is a very heavy duty five axis machine. It's got heavy duty roller guides throughout the machine, built on a supremely heavy uh, cast base. You've also got the hide and hang control here that you selected. And what I find interesting as well about your business is you're doing all your programming here at the machine, aren't you? Yes, we are. Most of what we do is small volume. Um, and the guys on the shop floor, they actually find it is really easy, simple to program. Um, and it, it's not always easier than a CAD, but we find it a lot more user friendly. I, I, I think it's great. I think it's great that you can, you, can, you can program at the machine. You're not having to do stuff offline. Uh, it gives you, gives you more flexibility if your, your operators are able to do both, for example, because you do have a CAD system, but you opt to do the majority here, don't you? Yes, we have. If we get a really complicated job, we'll obviously run that through the CAD, but the majority of what we do is really simple just to do straight on the machine. How about the speed of the machine? Because I know that's far improved from the previous V5 Dugard you have as well, isn't it? Yeah, we're noticing differences, particularly the rapids. We're cutting at similar speeds, but the rapids, the movements, everything's so much quicker. And we're probably seeing a 5% reduction in cycle times on most things. Because the, this, this particular machine here has a 12,000 RPM spindle, would that be correct? Yes, it is, yeah. And this table on the machine as well, the Trunnion style of machine. Dugards have various five axis machine offerings, which you've got one of already, but they wanted to bring this uh, machine in to meet the demands of customers. They feel that they like the Trunnion style that you've got here and this sort of size. Would you obviously agree with that? Yes, it's, I think it's built for the job, whereas the other one was really a, a normal vertical machining center with a, an extra table on it. But this is built for the job and it does seem a lot more robust. And are you, are you managing to use the table to its full kind of tilting capacity? Are you getting right to the extremities of the axes? Yes, we are. We're using it. We're really pushing it and well, plus a bit, really. Let's have a look at these parts. I'd like to have a look at one of these. Now, I know, I know you're making this pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, I don't expect you to tell us exactly what it is, but I'd be interested to know on the, uh, about, about the machining strategy involved. Okay. Well, we started this literally with a, from a solid block of aluminium. Um, first operation was to hold it in the first side, machine it all up to, to block it up, machine all the pockets in the side, and then we came on to the 620 um, and literally held one more hold and the whole job came off complete. Um, it really shifted a lot of metal. We was doing high speeds, low depths of cut, 
and it really took the metal out quick. When you say high speeds, tell us, tell us how fast you were machining. We was probably running five, six meters a minute, um, and probably ten, up ten thousand spindle speed. Tell me, is this one of those jobs that you programmed here at the control, or you did this one offline? Did this on the machine. Did this on the machine? Yeah, the whole thing was done on the machine. It looks a really nice job, um, looks complicated, but it's got a lot of basic profiles and shapes inside it. How do you ensure that you're getting the best uh, machining speeds and feed rates by doing it at the machine? Is there any elements of the control that kind of guide you through that programming um, process? Yeah, it does most of it on can cycles. Um, you've got pocketing, uh, just all the basic programs. Um, you can choose your depths of cut, loads on the cutter, and it'll do check it all for you and run it. It's all, almost optimum. I'm sure, a CAD will do it slightly quicker. I think the time involved, and we can run it. We're actually running the first off as we're setting it up and programming it. So, so this machine here has the hide hand. I know these machines are available with Fanet and Siemens control. This is a 620, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, we went for that more for ease of programming over the. The other options and what I notice here is, is your, your colleague is closing the doors is the access as well this is a big part and must have been a big part for you rather than having a kind of a pillar either side of each door you've got total access to get in the machine for loading checking setting yeah no it's not bad for loading it's, it's a bit of a reach for some of our vertically challenged employees it's a long way in but it is pretty get a bigger duck board yeah bigger duck board yeah but um it's a long reach in on some jobs, but it's really good access. And if we've got anything really heavy, you can get a crane in very easily. On Is it, it fully enclosed? It's fully enclosed as well, so you don't have to worry about... Because you've got, you got a high-pressure coolant through this through the spindle? It's high-pressure coolant, high-pressure um, slideway wash. Everything runs really, really sort of high. It floods it. Because as I was walking through the factory, I got a bit of coolant on my head from one of your other machines, but I, I won't get that from here, will I? No, you won't. No, the other one, it's um, every time it does a tool change of pressure beyond the spindle, it blows it out. It's lucky I've got no hair, otherwise uh, otherwise it might have been sticky. Um, the, the, final, the final kind of point I'd, I'd like to look at this, we spoke about the access, we spoke about the speed, we spoke about the power, all the hallmarks that you'd expect from a, a new five axis machine from Dugard. But is the Dugard support, is, is, is the Dugard installation, it's what came with it, because that's important, isn't it? Well, we did get the whole package. Um, not only did they put this machine in, they basically moved the whole shop around. I think we only left two machines in place when they put this one in. They put it all back, recommissioned all the others, um, supplied the whole lot. Is it important for you to feel secure when you buy a machine like this, that you're going to get you know, the, the, the right training, the right backup, the right warranties, you know, as, as, as the owner of the company, or part owner of the company? Yes, it is. and. It, I think if without that, you, you'll find a white elephant. You're not going to use it properly. You're not going to get the best out of it. Um, and I have found with Dugards, they do support it well. Um, any issues, they address straight away. Um, and there's always someone there on the phone. And it is a good story because you, you have um, two other machines here. You've got the 1350 XP, which is their, their high performance 1350 vertical machine in center. And you've also got their V5. So you've got three machines here two the five axis and one the three axis. That three axis machine, how good has that been? It's been really good. We've actually put an apprentice on it. Um, he used to do basic programming on some of our other machines um, and he just picked it up straight away. He's programming reasonably complex jobs and getting them running really quickly. Because the 1350, their com most common seller would be a thousand. This is a 1350. Why did you go for something that, that slightly bit bigger? Well, a lot of the jobs we're getting, um, it, they're quite basic rails and things, but it's a length really. Um, um, we previous machine we did have a 1600, um, which was slightly bigger than we needed, but we sometimes we used it all. So we went for the, the, the longest one we could get. And do you think do you think their their statement of calling that a 1350 XP extra performance do, does it stand to reason? Is it an extra performance machine, vertical machining centre in your eyes? Well, as far as I'm concerned, yes, it's done everything we want it to.